How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be hopping straight in and heading to the junk oh, not the junkyard, the barnyard actually. Uh or a couple barn finds. Uh, I'm gonna do probably like three or four. I have a Ferrari here that's ready to be worked on, but I really want to see if there's anything else I could manage to pick up. That's pretty cool. I do have a lot of stuff in the workshop, so that's why I really want to check it out. So we'll start with the barn find. I got 17 of them. Uh, they're pretty easy to get if you guys don't know grab a crate when you're in a barn find you just search through all the junk find a crate What do you have you have a one in five chance of finding another barn find so it's pretty easy All right, let's see what we have here. I don't see any cars yet uh, There's a lot of junk. Okay, so it looks like we got a SC, SCEO LX550. That's a uh, basically just a Chrysler. And oh, what's this? Wait, what's this? Bolt cargo. So Astro van. And it looks like here we have a Diablo, a Morena Bizzarini. What does it have in it? uh motor it is a v12 double overhead cam so it looks like this is okay yeah this is definitely definitely lambo looking towards diablo i, I can't really tell honestly the model there's so many models of that look like this in like the 80s 90s i'll have to find out exactly what this is but i think this is gonna be what i pick up well what's the cost Fifty-eight thousand for this and let me close that let's see if our engines in here looks like the engine is fairly intact so we have a top a top intake so it looks like it'll probably have most of it up all right we're gonna pick this up we'll pick up this part all right i'm gonna see you guys back in the shop with this bad boy all right now that we got this back at the garage i'm just gonna call it the lamborghini just because i'm not sure which one it is you guys can leave in the comment section down below what do you think it is what uh what model what type do you think it is uh, but we're gonna take it to the car wash because i want to be able to wash off this dust let's see here uh we'll hit it with the interior real quick and also this isn't a modded car this is one that came with the game so i'm very interested to see how it how it works out all right there's all the dust and this was a barn find keep that in mind so it's going to be in generally better shape than mostly everything we have so i mean 73 32 65 32 it's not bad that's not bad at all that means the body is in incredible shape actually uh surprising good shape i should say it's got a bit of stuff here and there but that's not too bad all right first things first for me i'm going to get this thing up on the lift drain it of any oil that it may or may not have probably doesn't have it um and i'm probably gonna restore this is what i'm thinking probably probably just restore it to uh a pretty stock state minus the motor okay so i should say this i'm gonna restore the body and the suspension in the interior but i'm gonna swap the motor for something a little bit with a little bit more modern oomph let's see let's get this on here does it got anything in there oh it had a drip worth um all right so let's see it's been a while since i've worked on a, a rear wheel drive so we dropped the two tires in the rear So I'm definitely gonna try and keep these tire rim combos. Probably replace the the tires, obviously, but I'll try and save the rims. Let's see what this one's at. It's probably at what 30. Uh, it well, didn't tell me. I right, get this axle out, then we can get the gearbox V12 gearbox out of here. It's nice that this is a uh motor that or a car that came with the game because that means that it's gonna be pretty uh pretty in line with no bugs or anything like that Oop, i need to drop this all right i think i should be able to drop it right away right all righty and there is the motor out i'll slide that back it's like this is from arizona also all right i'm gonna pop off all these wheels while i'm here oh it's got two fuel tanks in it 
I know uh, Hercons have two fuel tanks, but their fuel tanks definitely don't look like that. <laughs> a lot smaller. Alrighty, now that this is out, I'm going to probably tear all the body panels off of it that I can, repair the frame, uh, repair the interior, and then we'll put all the body panels back on after those have been repaired as well. So I'm going to uh, strip this down really quick. All right, so there is the body torn down. I got to remember that this is most likely, well, like all of either a carbon fiber or fiberglass body. So everything I pull off, it's not going to really take too much off of this. Um, but hey, you know what? We can uh, we can weld this, ba this bad boy back together. So watch this 2000 and watch the body just straighten back out instantly. Awesome. All right. Set that back. I have the body rolling unlocked, so I will try and repair as much as I can here. I have most of the parts. Uh, we will end up having to repaint this to get some stuff paint matched. Uh, and I will also have to add in new new glass all around. So I'm going to go through, get this good, get the glass good, get all the stuff put back on, get the interior done, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after that. I'm sure it's going to look really, really good, minus it missing the motor. And there we are. There's the body fully fixed windows in all the panels back on. You can tell I got a couple of things. We still need to paint match, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. I got the factory paint coat on me. Pretty easy. Got the Arizona plates repaired, put back on. So pretty happy about how it's looking so far. Uh, let's see here. 100, 100, 100. And all we are is a negative 11,000 profit right now, but that's all right because we will be probably getting up to like, I think probably a hundred thousand profit by the end of this, but let's take a look at the tire wheel combo. I'm pretty sure we had rim modern eight. So let me go in here really quick. Yeah. It looks like we had eight. Oh, also let me open up this case. All right. Big money. No whammy. What do we got? Another case, a little bit of bonus XP. All right. Let's open up the next case. I'll do these two bar and location and XP. All right, awesome. Uh, I need to look for these tires. There they are. I'm trying to sell these, get them out of my, get them out of my shop. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll sell everything below thirty. You know what? Sure. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll do that. It should be fine. All right. Separate all the eights. See if I can repair these rims, which I think I can. We're on location map. We got that added back to 17 now. All right, I'm going to drop all these rims off and get them repaired. And I'll see you guys back here with uh, fresh rims ready to go. All right, let's mount these all back on. Hopefully that was a, hopefully that was a clean tire. I can't remember. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, these all should be good. Right, sorry, this one takes... Oh, wow. These are some shiny tires. All right. Give me... Load this. Unload that. Balance this one. Pretty easy to do this. I do really enjoy doing tires. Super easy. What? Really? Oh, I already have them all done? Uh-oh. All right, there you go. Am I missing one then? Rim Modern 8. Did I accidentally get... Did I not buy this? Okay, get one of these at 17. Purchased. All right. Awesome. There we go. I was confused for a second. I guess I must have forgot to purchase one of the rims. Yeah, one of the rims was a little too broken, so I had to uh, go buy a new one. I had to go to the, the rim dealer. Oh, uh, we'll go all the way around. All right. Um, let's see. I definitely these are not these are not too terrible, honestly. But I do need to take a look through this and see if there's anything really missing. I guess I can repair some of the stuff. ECU type B. All right, we'll do some of this stuff. Uh, ECU type B. We'll get our brakes. Definitely just going to put new brakes on, brake servo. Uh, there's no point in me not putting on new brakes, so. 
definitely want to do that. Um, I think I can hit all this stuff if I just... Yeah, that should be fine. Let's do a wash. Get this on. I'm trying to get everything back to 100 um, as close as I can. I mean, it's just trying to be a pretty quick restoration. It doesn't have to be absolutely everything for me. Considering the fact that the hardest part is definitely going to be the is that a V12 motor. So a uh, pretty big motor here. All right, take it there. Get these back on. Make sure we can actually stop. I'm going to need another caliper here. All right, let's see how these settle on. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, this one off. Super easy. Looks like there's no front cross member here. Oh, just all. All right, the whole body is the cross member. All right, there's our caliper. Looks like I need a small intercooler. Radiator one, radiator two, medium intercooler. Okay. star pattern bam all right let's get intercooler medium intercooler let's get radiator a2 uh, i'm gonna hope it's this one if not i got everything i need oh there is no fans on this one. Oh, the wind must just do it it's gotta be up on the lift to access this We'll hop into this side then. How is this doing? Oh, these are all going to be destroyed. Yeah, 59. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to pull these out and redo these because there's no reason I don't need to. So I'm going to get the fuse box reset, a couple more things reset, and I'll see you guys back here uh, with the car pretty much ready to go, minus having to put a new motor in. And then we'll start working on the motor. All right, guys, I got a bit of stuff done. Uh, I still have to get, I think I got. Yeah, I got the fuel pumps in, performance fuel pumps. I still got to get this air cover popped off. I'm going to fix this really quick. I got to put the ABS back in. I got to do the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust. And then I think that's all the performance stuff knocked out of the way. So we'll pretty much be ready to go with getting the engine underway. Because I have not yet started it. Let's move this over to the lift. See if I can actually repair this air filter base. Oh, I can repair the clips as well. I gotta admit, this uh, this repairing style I think is pretty cool. I do like it a lot compared to the old game. It does take a wee bit longer though. But it's a lot more interactive. All right. So here is the V12 already set up. It's in fairly decent shape. I'd probably say it's at probably 45 or 50 percent overall. Looking at just the rust sitting on it but i'm gonna get underway with knocking this whole thing apart hopefully fixing some of the parts i need and then i think i'm going to slowly add some of the part good parts back that are not needed to be modded and then i'll put in all the modded stuff which is probably going to be quite a bit i'm expecting to be making around a thousand horsepower with this motor because it's not it's not super strong but it's pretty strong so i'll see you guys back with that in a little bit and about 20 minutes later, I have got the V12 looking shiny, chromed out, modded out of its mind. I think I have all the mods on it that I could ever put into it. Uh, it's looking, it's looking good. It's looking pretty mean. So let's take it off the stand and let's transplant this bad boy into the Lambo. So you can see here, everything a hundred. You can go back. We gotta get this up in the air really quick. I'm gonna figure out what I can do for the exhaust pipes. And I'm gonna need a V12 gearbox. I think I already, ooh, don't have battery. Okay, so V12, a double overhead cam, MRN. So I'll just go in here and just type in V12. See if I can find anything in here. Okay, there's one. I'll pick that up. I think that might actually do the entire. Oh yeah. All right. Awesome. That goes, that goes right up to the, to the headers. 
all right uh gearbox v for v12 we're definitely going to be purchasing an aftermarket one uh, assuming they have one in here yep because i'm not sure how much power we're going to be making and i can tell you that the stock gear ratio is not gonna fly not for uh not for one second uh where the heck is the the starter on this thing oh there it is all right i'm pretty excited to see how fast this thing ends up being oh rear air drive axle b it's like i sold both of those uh just do axle look for rear drive axle b two of those all right before i go any further on here i'm gonna do like i did on the fronts to the rears uh we'll get the old stuff torn out new stuff slid in looks like i will need actually two new brake discs maybe i had some i did not all right i'm in brake pads what the heck I'm pretty excited to see how fast this thing ends up being. It's also going to look very, very clean by the time I'm done. Right, get this room on. We're modern 8. I'm excited to get it out there on the speed track and just see how fast it'll go. Snap over here. And honestly, the bushings and stuff like that down here look pretty good all around. Yes, there's like rust on this stuff, but it's it's really not that bad. A lot of it's uh, superficial is what I'd say. So I'm going to leave it for now. Caliper. Boom, boom. And then I think after this, I may have one thing to add on here to the bottom. And then I just got to finish up the uh, top half of the engine. So it looks like all I need is a battery. And I do need I do know I need an ABS module. I'll pop that pump out too while I'm up here. Let's see. Anything else I can mess with in here? Alright. Alright, I think it's good to go then. In the bottom half. Pop in the three things I need in here. ABS pump. Uh 47, that's not terrible. Air filter base. That did get repaired. Pump in. We need a standard air filter. Got one of those. Oh, and I know I need a uh, clamp. Why am I thinking uh, clip? Jeez. I was like, wait a second. Something's wrong here. And then I also am going to need coolant reservoir. I'm not sure which one. Power steering reservoir. Okay. Reservoir D. Get the power. All right. Still don't have any oil in it as well, so I can't forget that. There's actually not too many parts on this car uh, suspension wise. It's just that motor. Jeez, that motor had double the parts of a V8, I would say. Uh, it also had camshaft caps that I had to put on every single part. It was probably five minutes alone just screwing, unscrewing camshaft caps. So, not fun. Not particularly fun. All right, I'm going to get all these fluids filled up, make sure the car is running, and I'll see you guys back here uh, in the paint booth. Ready to go. So, let's see here. Paint car. I guess we're just going to stick with this factory yellow. Ooh, honestly... It doesn't really matter the color. I think almost any color would look good on this car. Just straight up. Just looks incredible. Alright, alright. That's enough paint. Alright, so... We're looking at... Sell value of 188000 Bought it for 58000 Performance parts added 66000 So that's a lot of money alone. I think I spent, I think I spent about 100000 on this car. Uh, but... Profit, 129,000, not too shabby. I'll probably hold on to the car though. I usually don't I usually don't sell my first like hundred or so cars because I like to collect a bunch of them so I can go back later and see how they are. But let's take this bad boy to the dyno. Uh oh my gosh, I'm missing that intercooler piece. Okay. Now it should work. So 456 stock, put the enter button, let it go. 
I think we're gonna be making at least a thousand. I think we're gonna get over 100% gain for sure. Okay, 88%. Not bad, but not what I was hoping for. The truck hit like 2,000, so... Yeah, it's quite quite the difference. But 855 horsepower. We'll take it. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to tune this, of course. I'm going to give it... I'm going to make it like just an 8-speed. Uh, 189. We'll give it to about 289. We'll just do that. I'm not even going to mess with the final ratio. Uh, it's not that important right now. I'm not gonna not gonna be trying to race this. It's gonna it's gonna sit in the garage where it, where it belongs. Honestly, I'll bring it back into the garage though to take a look at it. But there we go, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, a comment down below. Uh, next video, I'll probably be working on this Ferrari. The motor is, I don't think it's the same. Yeah, the motor in this one is a V8 actually. So I might see if I can find a better Italia with a better motor, like a V12 or V10. I feel like that should just be standard, but that's just me. I'll try and find a better one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what cars you guys want to see me work on next. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.